Whoa, good morning. Good afternoon. I lost track of time there. I just let it go in and going and going and going and going and going. <clears throat> good morning. Headphone hair day. <clears throat> How are y'all? What's better than a PA stream and a new package from JetPins? Not much. That is factually correct. Not much at all. Um, that's a good day. What did you get from JetPins? Or just a surprise like me, like I generally don't know what I get. Even though I order the things, I pick out the things, but I got a box right here. We'll open tomorrow. It's like, what did I get? Smand. Um, Molly, the winner of the last Smand, got her Smand, and she sent me a picture of her using the Smand, which was great. Made my little Smand heart go pitter-pat. Washy in a Smand? <laughs> What color? What color, Galantium? What color, Smand? That awesome shirt reminds me of some of my Word notebooks. Those, um, it is really like that pattern, isn't it? I remember that. That was a older pattern. Uh, that Word made was great. Sioli saw no baseball today. It was really hard to do that baseball stream last night. I was actually talking to one of the show, the MLB The Show creators. For those of you who missed it, I streamed the baseball game that I play. It's called MLB The Show 21 last night for like an hour hour and a half and some people hung out and it is really hard to play the game effectively and talk to chat it's like i'd have to talk play talk play talk play so uh shout out to those mlb the show creators i was just texting one or tweeting one um like saying how hard i found that to be last night so that was just like it wasn't a one-off type of thing but that's not something i'm gonna do very often it's very rare that i have that kind of free time to just commit to like turning on the stream and doing something like that but it was fun i enjoyed it pink and purple it's super great yeah so i have the pink and purple one sitting right here on the floor for uh future great future sh future shows i know not only that but testing the setup is all challenging totally um and what's funny is I'm having a problem this morning with this stream. My camera didn't show up again, this desk cam. When I fired up the stream, the camera is on, powered on, lit, but I'm getting no signal. So when I when I swap over to the desk cam, oh, you see that's right now it's coffee cam, um, I have to fix the monitor like I did yesterday. I don't know what's going on, why it's losing that every time. Um, I can fix it quickly, like it's a quick add. Um, to the scene but it shouldn't be vanishing at all so if anyone has any ideas i mean i know this weekend i played with the usb cables but it's been i haven't moved them um since yesterday or the day before like it shouldn't continue to vanish every i shouldn't have to re-add the camera every day totally gremlins totally gremlins so how are y'all today as y'all can see this is where i'm at right now coffee cam um i'm still like it's it's almost noon and i'm still on the coffee fun to check out yeah miss g's crafties like it's fun like i play that game a lot i don't know that i'll stream it a lot i don't know how fun it is to actually stream but it was cool like we got to talk about pens and stuff like that so it was fun <sighs> all right um today's podcast was really fun like, I, I say that a lot because it's true, but Mike surprised me. If you haven't heard, if you weren't there for the live show, I'm not going to spoil the podcast for you, but basically Mike added something into the list that I he saw that I purposely left off, and we ended up having to talk about it. Pat Unsorted, three months of sub, and thank you so much. Coffee always. Didn't your name used to have coffee in it, Pat? Something about coffee? Maybe I'm misremembering. <laughs> oh, good morning, Rebuzzles. Good morning, good morning. So yeah, I'm still coming down from the podcast, so no super plans today. If you have any questions for me, let's hit it up. Um, I've been enjoying doing this. I literally did this the whole podcast. Bloop, bloop. So this is the Shown Design Ultim that we inked up yesterday. We'll talk about that more in a little bit. But look, this is definitely my aesthetic I'm going for right now. I guess I could move the coffee off and make this a little bit nicer. Do you grip heavier pins differently? What a great question. So yeah, we'll talk about that. 
Um, it, it, it's unconscious, but we will talk about that. Let me fix the camera while we're here, since I uh, I told y'all this stuff screwed up it, for no reason. Hi, that's me. That's my thinking face. Hmm. Oh, very interesting, Brad. Hmm. Hmm. Thoughtful. <clears throat> all right. I didn't have time to set up all the things. But yeah, I shouldn't be losing that. Um, so this is my setup right now, and uh, XRXR hold that thought. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna expand in a little bit. So I have a very orange. I mean, it's obvious orange is my thing anyway. But this is my aesthetic right now. And these were the pins I was saying I had going, and then I have my uh, my ballpoint, my blue ballpoint um, there on the on the uh, for the Tombow that I reviewed this week. But I was literally when I wasn't writing with this. Like, this is one of the coolest eyedroppers because the ink doesn't really stick to the edges at all. So it flows around really nicely. And it's just fun to play with. And it's cool seeing this lighter color yellow ink makes it look orange in here. So I'm all about the orange on the orange. How's the Ajoto? It's awesome. It is so cool. It's fun to use, fun to write with. I am so happy with how it turned out. It's really, really good. I use this, I've been using this mostly in my journal as opposed to my planner. For planner planner week, I chose um, the mango, but then I, now I've been using this and then I use the Ajoto. So I'm using all three of these pens plus this one. This is pretty much my weekend pens so far is this group. That's a pretty good group if you ask me. All right, so XRXR was asking about do I grip heavier pins differently? And I do it kind of accidentally. So I'm generally a low gripper. This is an ultralight pen. I would say this Shone Ultim kind of classifies as an ultralight pen. I definitely grip it lighter, you know, around the section, um, which is probably backwards. Like you could grip the like the lighter pins tighter, but they tend to flow pretty well. And what happens when I get a heavier pin, I'm trying to think if I have one inked up right now. The, what ends up happening is the weight, the, the balance point on the pin changes. So a lot of times with heavier pins, you have to grip them further back. Let me see if I have a heavier pin. Well, this, this is a definitely a heavy pen, but it's, it's front weighted, but this is a heavier pen. I will tend to, if the barrel is heavier, I will tend to move up a little bit on my grip. And, you know, I tend to grip lower and lighter on light pens and more firm and back on heavier pens. But it's all personal preference, right? Depends on how you grip the pen, how far up your grip is naturally, where you're going to grip it. So it just depends. Like this one isn't, isn't particularly heavy. This one's probably medium. This is probably a standard weight pen. And like I'm, I'm just gripping it completely normal. Medium everything, medium location. Um. This one's pretty light, I'd say. Lighter, so I'll tend to grip this one lighter and lower. So yeah, um, I generally prefer having a lighter grip, or excuse me, a lower grip because of my handwriting style, right? It also matters whether you, if you're writing in cursive, right? Your grip location could be someone who writes in a, differently than someone who writes in a small print like I do. Because if I'm doing this, my, my fine writing is very detailed like this, and the further back I hold the pen, the more loose it's gonna be, and I'm not gonna enjoy it, right? So that's how I would grip, like a fine nib pen, I have to grip it very low. So there's there's a shocking amount that goes into play in how you, you grip pens in different items. Oh, that's a good question, Tessa. Let's, uh, I guess we can keep it on this stream. I mean, on this scene on this scene. No leaking with the Ultim yet by eye dropping? No. 
Um, like I haven't bounced it around or anything, but like I'm just constantly twisting and turning it. I haven't even seen like any hint of of leaking in here whatsoever. No movement, nothing getting. Uh, there's no ink where it shouldn't be right now. So we'll keep uh, we'll keep using it, keep playing with it. Right now, it's working really well. All right, so Tessa asks. Let's see. All right, so Tessa asks. Um, now that you've been using the William Hanna Plana for about 20 days, how do you like the layout? I absolutely love the layout. It's working real well. I did. I decided a new Smand command: Smand and deliver. Your pens are your life. You know, you old people might might know that one. Um. So, but I've been thinking about it, Tessa. In that. I'm thinking about wanting a full book at once. Thinking about a full book at once. So with the William Hanna, I can order 100 pages at a time. I'm sure I could order more um, with just an email. So, and then I'm only fitting, let's see... What did I say? Um, did I go the whole month? So I did one month worth of sheets, right? I could fit two months worth of sheets in here. But I already feel like I'm going to have to swap these out pretty frequently. Kind of keep it like a, like a churn going through. Like an A5 hobo, I wouldn't do anything that didn't have this hourly layout on it now. I like, I'm very much like the hourly layout setup. Um, but I've been thinking about having a singular book for the year just recently. As I, as I get to the end of this month, I'm going, boy, I really got to like, I got to shift in the new month. Uh, like the maintenance of maintaining this is a little bit higher than just having a singular book daily hobo has the times on the side okay i'd have to look at it i just since i haven't used it in years i'm kind of not not remembering what it's looking like so i don't know like i'm i'm actively thinking about that tessa i don't know if that helps um so the layout is winning definitely loving the layout I'm having to decide. Yeah, you can have the exact pages on another disbound book and keep what you're actively using in your William Hanna. I'm thinking like I could just take, I could make the William Hanna, like I could probably fit like six months in here and take everything else out, right? All my extra pages that I use to do things in, right? And just have this for the planner portion. It's, that's probably the first thing. Have you considered the Levenger Circus System versus the William Hanna Plana? Um, yeah, I mean, the Circus System's awesome. And I, I didn't consider it at first because I could customize this into some colors. And then they had layouts that I could really customize as well. So, but, you know, same idea, same system. Um, same punch, same hole punch for the discs. Things like that. Can you put six months in a time in a William Hanna? It would be a test, wouldn't it? Let's let's try. I don't. So, I only have th like three months. Like I only have a hundred. The first hundred days of this. So let's let's try that and see what it looks like. Jay Race, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. So let's see what this looks like. There's Alan's half letter. I told y'all I'm keeping it. Let's just get a visual of what this looks like. So you like the layout, but not the overall format. Um, it's not that I don't like it. It's that I'm questioning not having my entire year in one book accessible at a time. Does that make sense if I say it that way? 
it's if I'm going to do this, it's very it's much more page intensive. Right? It's much more page intensive. So now I'm questioning not having the book for the year and having to manage what I have going on here. Let me uh let me pull these sheets. Let me I'm going to I'm going to drop the center section real quick. So just hang tight. I'm gonna... So I really like the change. And as I as I'm figuring out getting to the end of the month, I'm like, oh, it just ends here and I have to put more stuff in. And then what if I want to reference the other stuff? Yeah, I have an archive, but it's separate and, you know, it's stored away. What about having like a singular book for this? And then the William Hanna could be like my more of a journal notebook style. Like the William Hanna is not going anywhere because it's so useful. Hey, Killer Sheep. Paper cat lady, yeah, that's hard for long-term planning. Yeah, like I'm having a little bit of struggle thinking about the future with this. Like today, it's perfect. But for past and future, well, I've only got 30 days in here, right? It's, I don't know. Those, That's what I'm thinking about. So I'm glad you asked that because I've really just been thinking about that the past couple of days. 100 days, so yeah, so I ended here. Let's see how many I can get in without removing the back section. <laughs> so JD Lady, I'm sure I can change this with an email, but I'm only ordering 100 days at a time. So I'd have to order you know, three or four orders of this. I had to buy a three year calendar to start writing down January things. I know. So yeah, I'm as you I'm putting some thoughts into this and I haven't quite formulated all my thoughts, but that's where my head's at right now. So there you go. Love the system, love the layout, love how I'm using it. I don't have I, I don't like having the blank Saturday Sundays right now. The mostly blank Saturday Sundays now. I would like to figure something out for that because that just feels wasteful. Um, maybe that could be just like, uh, you know, a review of the week or a pen recap for the week or something like that. Tasha's getting the Yukio E. Do you have a link for that, uh, Rewizzles? Will you put a link in the chat? I'd like to look at that. I've been happy with the Tasha inks so far. <laughs> what about future full year and months, but daily for the current? Maybe. Maybe. Cause I, but I'm even thinking backwards too, right? So like I've used some of the days here right and like this will just be removed out of this book and stored somewhere todd c 33 thank you for the follow appreciate you right and would i be would the benefits be better to have it in a singular book i don't know i don't know so we're thinking luckily i don't have to decide anything yet right luckily i've Luckily, the system's working, right? The layout's working for me. I'm like, yep, I, I like it. We can keep this up. There's a couple things like that that are just now cropping up. The Saturday, the weekend usage, and then the long-term before and uh, after usage. So, Like, I don't mind managing it this way. But what if I need to refer to something that I've removed from the book? 
then I have to go, like, do I just keep the archive handy? Right? Like, I have the archive rings, but... All right, so this is... So that's with 100 days of planner. And then my extra uh, croquis sheets that I put in here. And that's pretty full. Like, that's about maximum capacity. So I couldn't even get, like, three months in here without moving the sheet scan and archive i just honestly i just don't have the time for that like i'm not gonna lie i just don't have the time for that that is that's work <laughs> as bad as that sounds i i just don't want to do that So, we'll see. Woke up this morning, realized I made a major mistake on a drawing, walked the dog, came back to start over, picked up my spoked orange mechanical pencil, immediately felt better to start over. Spoked pencils help peace of mind. It's funny you talk about that Slumberland Studio. I talked kind of about, on the podcast today, I just kind of talked about the feel of pens and how pens make me feel. Um and why I choose to use certain pens and, and things like that. So yeah, like I totally get that. So like I, I actually alluded to that, what you're saying on the podcast today. Oh look, there's my, there's a ruler. So yeah, I'm giving, uh, I've been awful with my planner. I think I need to be here more often to keep, need to be in here more often to keep up with it. I don't think I've used mine regularly since March. Do you, t are you working from home, TJ, or are you going in? I'm giving Plotter a try for 2022. I like having a full year handy. I can add pages between weeks for notes and extra to do list. Plotter does not have the time layout. What about getting a bigger case notebook rings? Yeah, books are a reason. That's a really good point. And like Levenger has an A4. I don't know that I want bigger. TJ, you're working from home. Um, it can be hard with a planner working from home. One of the challenges that I have is just like, I just start doing the things and don't take the time to like write down the things. Um, that's always been one of the kickers for having the planner at home. KOP high capacity converters are sold out. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, Paper Cat Lady. Like, A5 is just the most useful. And so, like, this entire thickness, like, I can get a full year notebook this size. Like, 100%. I can find one that's this size. We're, like, pushing the limits here for me. Like, I know you can get bigger rings. I know you can get bigger systems. Um... exactly when i was at work i always make some time on sunday night to think about what's going on in the week but work from home with the five-year-old means everything is usually up in there totally totally hi brad finally remember to drop in for the wednesday stream my platinum 3776 kinshu came from pinsachi oh nice hey molly we talked about your span picture earlier molly so, all right let me pull up these links let me pull up these tasha links Let's see. Let me, uh, we got to fix the camera here too. TJ, do you know why my, my camera is disappearing all of a sudden every day now? The thinker. My scenes, my preset up scenes, my cameras are missing. All right. Um, let's look at a couple of these. Did they make the bottles smaller? No, it's 40, 40 milliliters. Oh, the 36 Mount Views of Mount Fuji book is just come back out, come out uh, again. I've been getting emails about that. 
I'm not gonna read all this. Y'all can go read this. Uh, Rewizzles put a link in the chat. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. We'll have to check out some of these inks. Van S just got the bottles and they don't have the samples yet. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, take a look at that if you're in interested in, in this. That looks very, very cool. I'm glad you sent that. Let me go, let me scroll, let me scroll. Okay, it looks like there's gonna be, what's that, eight inks. All right, so yeah, I'll be looking for samples soon. And there's Love Loveless's awesome Kenshu. What a pretty pen. I bet that looks awesome. Super cool. <laughs> All right, let me catch catch up on these. Um, oh, Tessa said, uh, I think I missed that. Do you need a full page for future stuff? Not necessarily. Yeah, that's what y'all were saying, to move it around. Seoli san I do construction field notes and consume a book a week, but I have to backtrack a month. Carrying four pocket notebooks kills portability. Alan been trying one of the five year journals. You can get me to write and decorate my planner, but you can't get me to look at it later. That's actually kind of funny. I think a lot of us feel that. Or to platinum preppy, have you prep preppy? Have you heard of a pilot varsity? Yeah, Ray. So the difference. And the Pilot Varsity is fine, but it is very inky for a very first time fountain pen user. And I think that um, I tend not to recommend that first because it can just output so much ink, it would turn you off uh, of that type of pen where the, the Preppy is more moderated, has a finer nib and more, it writes more like a pen that you're used to as opposed to the Varsity. <clears throat> cameras are always wonky but the location should be saving yeah that like it hadn't changed like i pulled the usb cable like this weekend messing around with my mouse and then ever since then i'm having to redo it every day and i haven't moved it so who knows yeah so like a lot of people will like the varsity i just never recommend it up front as as kind of that that you know five dollar option but well, even less for the varsity because they're just so wet pre stephanie thank you for the follow appreciate you so yeah that's what i'm to wrap up uh tessa's question that's what i'm thinking about the planner layouts working perfectly like this is like this is my last two days spread and it's very basic like you know, like this is the kind of information and visual that I need, right? I'm not overfilling it. I'm not overdoing it. But I wonder long term if I wouldn't be better served from a book format. So that's where my thought process is. So we'll see um, what's today. Like in the next month or two months, we'll have a bunch of... Uh, Oh. Like in the next month or two months, we'll have a bunch of uh, What is happening? I just clicked a button. Are y'all still here? Oh. Make this go away. Make it stop. What is happening? I just clicked a button. Why can I hear myself? I don't want to hear myself. Everything is broken. All right. Wow, that was weird. Did y'all hear me echoing? Because I started hearing myself. I was looking at uh, messages in here. Seems to be fixed. That was strange. I've never done that before. Still learning how to twitch, y'all. Pilot Pettit 1 is a super fun starter pattern pen. I Actually, I, I do like the Pettits. I think you can get them in a smaller nib size than the Varsities? Question mark? I'm not sure. Yeah, OBS fought back facts. That's what happened. 
What would you make a re recommend for a pen case for travel? Usually I only bring one or three pens, but travel all the time. And should I store them horizontally or ver vertically? Second part first, always horizontally. Nib up in the pen case. Second, the Notco Sinclair is kind of tailor-made for that. Of course, I don't have mine in here, but it's got three pen slots and then like a notebook paper slot. That's for, what did I say, horizontally? <laughs> Vertically, sorry, I was too busy messing with things. Vertically, nib up, wow. Sorry, chat, it's that, it's that time of day. I'm hangry, I, have, I need to eat lunch. Um, so no matter what case, type of case you get, keep the pen stored vertically. I've never have a, had a problem like in plane travel as long as I take the pin case out of my bag and then put it like vertically in the seat behind me. So, so yeah, pin case, it depends on what you're looking for. If you want like a hard side leather case, you know, you can look at like Frank and Kristoff. Um, if you want softer cases, you can look at knock and rickshaw. It just depends. Vertical nib up in a Sinclair. I like the Sinclair, but I'm biased. Hey, Brad, I live in Australia, so it's always late night for me whenever your streams start. Wow, this is late for you. Oh, thank you so much, Christy. I really, really appreciate that. <laughs> we try to make it chill. You can fall asleep to it. Yeah, the Galen leather cases are great, too. I never take the pen case out except that one time fly girl Elliot was my pilot pilot that would be awesome if she was ever my pilot I don't think she was she was never a pilot on many of my flights what's for lunch that's a good question I don't know probably just a sandwich or something something easy did you miss anything big um my planner is getting bigger that's the only thing you did not miss anything big you miss me confusing horizontal with vertical but that's like a feature like that's an expectation tacos never pass up tacos i'd want to go out for tacos i don't do tacos great at home i can do burritos okay at home tacos we gotta go out for peanut butter and jam i'm always down for that that actually might be a good idea pen addict on call map i am on um oak but i haven't been using it so i'm trying to do this thing i'm trying to have this hour set up in my planner every day to where i meditate and read and write like get out from in front of screens i just started it this week i'm like uh i'm like one for two <laughs> so far <laughs> i was lurking and heard tacos tacos are life that that's factually correct i think that's why i need someone else to make the tacos like i'm not good at my own tacos i'm trying to resist both buying an ultima and i need some new shoes go for the shoes I mean, shoes will always be there, but you kind of need the shoes more than the pen. But yeah, I'm trying to book an hour in my day at some point to say, this is the time where I meditate, I read a chapter of a book, and then I write in my journal. And in an hour, I can do all three of those things. Do you see the Leonardo? He's a uh, fig boot pen. He's been um, texting me or sending me uh, messages with through the whole process. I haven't seen the one with the hardware on it. Did he, I think he shared that in, in Slack, but I haven't, um, I haven't done that yet. Uh, I haven't seen that version of it yet. Actually, I should probably look. Let me see if it's in my feed. Brad, I feel like you keep using the planner layout. Keep using the planner layout and add a few calendar pages. Yeah, I could just pick up like the calendar pack. Hey, look, new messages from Figboot from yesterday. Yeah. God, that looks good. Letting him know we're talking about him. Do y'all want to see it on my phone? I'm not going to put it up on the... Uh, I'm not going to put the... Uh, put my private Instagram messages in up. Am I allowed to show this, y'all think? 
Hey, I'm under embark. It's on his Instagram. Okay, then I can definitely show it. I can't get this thing to turn sideways though. Of course, it's not going to focus. There we go. Whoops. So yeah, there you go. All right, thank you, thank you for getting in on his uh, his page. There we go. That's the picture I was trying to show you. Looks great, doesn't it? It's awesome. Wow, that's a good price too. Two thirty five for steel nib. That's a deal. <laughs> yeah, those are awesome. So this um for those that aren't aware this was sort of the color that um when fig boot went to jonathan's house and made his own material this was those colors that brown and blue which is really really great so this is uh play a play on that it came out perfect that's awesome. Love it. So yeah, that's the story behind this one. It's really, really good. What's your shoe size? I have some brand new Kevin Durant Nikes that look like something weird like you wear. I'm a size 11. Are they as weird as this? All right, shoe stream. Y'all haven't seen weird till you've seen these. My wife hates these shoes. I love them, though. Nike undercover over brakes. I think I've shown you all these before. They're like the most comfortable shoes ever. My wife hates them. They're 12s. Yeah, I can't do 12s. The tiny rose is cute. Yeah. These are the bomb. I would, this is probably my favorite shoe I bought this year. Sorry, I gotta tie my shoe now. Plus they match the, the skull shirt, right? We, gotta, we go full matchy matchy around here. Nice haircut, Brad. Yeah, got the hairs cut. We have uh, headphone hair today, so I keep fidgeting with it because it's bothering me. <clears throat> but headphone hair works better when it's shorter. So I'm, I'm good with, with no hat. <laughs> Do you exclusively talk about fountain pens or other pens like gel and ballpoint and rollerball? Yep, we talk about all the pens. So I just raved about this Tombow ballpoint pen. Here, I'll show you all the non-fountain pens. So this is a Tombow ballpoint we need a shoe reward now i know right this is a tombow ballpoint three dollar ballpoint pen 0.38 millimeter line very 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 tiny line and then we get into cool mechanical pencils like this awesome cat uh pilot carry mechanical pencil so we talk about those and then we talk about sometimes we talk about drawing pens like copic multi-liners my favorite expensive drawing pen and then we talk about uh <coughs> rollerball pens like this awesome one that i made with my friend matthew Yoshimi battles the pink robots power belly 27 months so yeah we talk we talk about all the things like literally from wooden pencils like this to like the fanciest fountain pens um we cover the basis here so yeah i talk about all the things so today i'm just kind of rambling i didn't really have a topic for today usually i'll do different topics different unboxings uh alan with the gift sub let's go what did i say faldstein did i say pilot thank you pentel carry not pilot hurricane 93 thank you for the follow appreciate you 
Are you a fan of the Muji pens? Absolutely. And here's the trick about the Muji pens. They use the refills for all the popular pens that I, that all of us like so much, right? So they use uh, the Zebra Sarasa clip refill. They use the Pentel Energel uh, and Pentel Sleechy. Um Refills. Anonymous cheer. 100 bitties. Thank you so much. Amazing. Amazing. The anonymous cheer. That's so interesting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, we, we we cover all the bases and oh yes, Slumberland Studio, good point. Not. And I repeat, not the Muji fountain pen. It is not good. All the other Muji pens are good. Um, great, great writing pens. We talk a lot about paper here because paper is just as important as the pens. And now I'm a share another hundred bitties. Let's go. Look at the ghost bits. They come out of like the ghosts underside. We're not going to talk about that. Are we anonymous cheer? We're not going to talk about where the bits come from on the little ghosty. Um, and then we talk about ink. So we talk about a lot of fountain pen ink. I'll do ink testing, um, different things like that. So yeah, we really cover the stationary gamut, um, not any one particular thing. So, but I highly recommend the Muji pens. I don't have any on the desk here right now, but I recommend them because they use such good quality refills. They are uh, a white label product, so it's very cool. Very cool. So two anonymous cheers in one day. That's awesome. Muji pens are my dedicated pens for my exams. Which ones do you use? Which ones um, do you prefer? Do you review fountain pens strictly? We have working. Sorry. Toby emote's not ready yet, but coming soon. Do you review fountain, fountain pens strictly for writing or for drawing too? I would say almost strictly for writing. Um, oh, look at that. That's a very close... That's a very close Toby. Um, I don't know what he's barking at either. He's running back and forth like someone's here. Um, <clears throat> one of my Muji pins fits my Sleechy refill. Yes, yeah, so that's one of the, uh, it, it is the Sleechy refill. It fits, so it'll fit the Sleechy barrel. So, anonymous cheer, more bits. Oh, that, that bit, that bit, does it come from weird? Nope, that bit doesn't come from weird places. Um, so yeah, um, fountain pens for drawing. I don't specifically, um, review them for that, but they can be, I mean, like they, they can be for drawing. Like I have a platinum desk pen sitting here. Um, I know that Slumberland, Slumberland studio uses a older version of this. That's better than this one, but for her artwork. And a lot of people use fountain pens for their artwork and inks that are appropriate for artwork. Like this is a waterproof black ink in here. So yeah, we try to talk about all these things, but when I do my reviews, they're generally more of from a writing perspective review, just because that's what I do the most. Oh, the other thing we do here is we do giveaways for all you new followers. Every time I stream, I'll at least give away like one thing. Sometimes if I stream for a long time, I'll give away more things. Just depends on how the day is going. So we'll do a giveaway here in a minute. Yeah, check out Peter Draws. Peter Draws draws with a fountain pen a lot of times. If both Edelstein Onyx and Namiki Black fit my budget, which one would you buy? I haven't used Edelstein Onyx, so I would pick Namiki Black. Man, anonymous cheer going crazy with the biddies. I love it. Very cool. I'll use them for writing too. Nice. Platinum Century UEF and Diatrominus Document Brown Permanent Ink. I'm gonna write that down, Carol. Diatrominus. Peter Draws loves the Muji fountain pen. Yes, he does. That is the only thing I disagree with Peter Draws on. I was glad that he made um, made a pen with Narwhal maybe to like twist his arm artists except slumberland studio a lot of artists love that muji fountain pen all right um oh yeah i want to see something cool let's see if this isn't going to show up well on camera but 
for those of y'all who missed the uh, platinum citrus black, watch me write this on here to see how this ink changes color as I write. So I just wrote this down. This is what it this is what it goes into. But you can watch as I write. You're not going to be able to read this until it dries. Uh, what am I doing? Diatrimenus document brown. So you can see how light it is and how it's slowly getting dark, darker. Did the bank paper change at all overnight? Uh, it's not in this room. I'll go grab it. You want me to go grab it real quick? I'll grab that while y'all read my notes. But you can see it like actively changing. show up and look pretty. Shit, I don't think you can do that. That's what you do the best. Tyler got a haircut too. FedEx guy's at the door, but he hadn't dropped off the package yet. That's why Toby's so mad, because he won't leave. <clears throat> um, It changed. So it's still not the same level, but it definitely got darker. So it really really changed for the better I think scanning for notco restock hints yeah there is no restock hint hey Elizabeth Molly says hey Elizabeth so yeah I think it totally changed but it's still not it's still not as dark But yeah, whoever, Toby, Toby, Toby. <clears throat> so Elizabeth, will you get that package once he leaves, please? Because I don't know what this could be. So yeah, there is um, some Platinum Classic Citrus Black, how it ages. So I was actually worried about uh, using this in my journal, but if it's going to end up looking like that, I'll be totally fine. Toby does not like anybody except his family members. Toby is not a nice pup. Just too bad he would get all the pets. He would get all the pets if he liked people. All right, let's see what this package is, and let's think about doing a giveaway. Then let's think about me getting some lunch. He is a great car talk. That is a fact. That is a fact. Oops. Oh my gosh. Is that to me? Says spread out and thin hair. And then this one just says spread out. <laughs> um, all right. Embargo number one package. You don't get to see that one. Let's see this one. Embargo number two package. We got the double embargo in chat. One of them July 30th. One of them August 27th. Dun, dun, dun. Do you know what an embargo is? Mm -hmm. That means I can't share what's in those packages until those dates because the person asked me not to release information early. So you're doing 
last month, the day after my birthday. Yeah. And then you gotta wait a whole nother month. For the second one. They're two different companies. Why are they making you wait so long? Because they haven't released the products, so they send them to me early. So you got special. So I can. So I got special treatment. Yes. So I got special treatment. Wait, they send it to you. Or you pay for it. They send it to me for free. Oh. You have to review it or something. I don't have to do anything with it, but they know that I'm going to share it and probably review it, or mm -hmm. give it away, or use it, or share. It. Yeah. So they know that hey. Brad likes to talk about things. Let's send him stuff so he'll talk about our things so we sell more things. But here's the rules. We're going to send you this, but you can't share it until this day. What if you do? Then they won't send me any more things in the future. Then I will be on their list. You don't want to be on the list. I wish I was on the list. <laughs> Not, you're on the bad list or the good list? I have a random question. All right. Has anybody ever asked you to autograph something and send it to them? <coughs> I don't think in the mail, but I've done it at pen shows. But I don't think I've done one in the mail. Would you? Sure. Why not? I'm a nice guy. I, I, I honor my embargoes. Bet I can guess the second one. I don't know which one's first. Now that he knows what an embargo is, explain DCMA takedowns for me. I have, man, I wish I knew. But I'm glad every time I end my stream, my thing says I have zero copyright strikes against, against me. Hey, Claire Rice. Claire says, OMG, it's the famous Brad Dowdy. What do you think about that? <laughs> no. I say, I, all my friends say, ask what you do. I'm just, I just say, look them up, go to images, and you'll see 50,000 pictures of my dad. And what do they say? And they always click on the one that where you look like a princess, you know? One with the tiara and the little wand. I mean, I think that's a good picture of me. I don't know why they wouldn't click on that. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's my dad. You definitely don't know the August release, Brooks. That'll be embargo number three. Do I know anybody on there? Uh, Brooks, Mr. Jonathan. He just got back from vacation. Elizabeth says hi. Go to Katie. Yeah, I don't think y'all know what either of these are. I ordered an Ultim, Tony. Ordered an Ultim. Ultim. You could, oh, Elizabeth, they want to, can you say hi? As opposed to being like off camera. Can you just like lean in? Just say hi. They said you can't release info. They said um, you couldn't give them away. Actually, one of these, I do have a giveaway item. Um, let's see. Brad is an influencer, just a very niche one. <laughs> Get the PR campaign set up correctly. That's right. That's the embargo. Um, I need a headshot for autographing. We've actually joked about that. Um, DCMA is simple. Disney doesn't want to ever give up Mickey Mouse so nobody can play music in public. True. Be derelict in my duties if I didn't ask, what are your thoughts on Jock Peterson? I am pro the Jock Peterson trade. I would not mind if we signed him for the next couple of years. Uh, it's the new Braves player. Oh, yeah. The, the left-handed guy. All right. Now you got to – all right. Jump off now because it's affecting my lighting and it's starting to bug me. <laughs> we don't have the lighting set up for uh, oh, for guest appearances. So now you can continue to ask questions from over here. Lamy sent Brad their new color lineup for the 2000 for his approval. Elizabeth, do you have a favorite pen? What about those ones, uh, the rainbow gel ink pens that I sent you? Yeah, those Wait, ones. Those the inner gels. She likes the inner gels. Oh, Five by five? What are you linking the five by five? That is very old. <laughs> that I is like ten years old, Jackie, I want to say. Mm -mm. Maybe more. Maybe 12 years old. Because that's from Florida. Nuh-uh. That's in that picture set that we did for y'all. Oh, worth you and Tyler. Mm -mm. Yeah, that is a very, very old picture that was, like four that was actually a real headshot by a real photographer my wife was getting uh the kids pictures done like when they were four and two so yeah that was probably like 12 years ago and i said hey can i get some headshots and i was like i think you need some more i, I know I, do, I could use some new headshots <clears throat> oh this is the best headshot jack you found the real one this is the best one. Oh, it's not coming up come on image did y'all get the image? 
It won't come up on here. Man. I was going to say, I said my handwriting is better when I write with my pen instead of pencils. There it is. Let's go. That's the one. That's the headshot. Who did that? <laughs> uh, Boston. Boston.com did that. This guy loves pens more than you love anything in the world. That is actually a factually correct uh, headline. We used to keep that. We printed that out at Knock and kept that on the wall. It was amazing. I remember that. It was amazing. So, yeah. Good times, good times. Best headshot right there. Best headshot. All right, let's give something away, and then I'm going to go find some lunch. You will now have nightmares because of that picture. All right. Can I pick something out? Yeah, Elizabeth's going to go pick something out to give away. Um, anything from this door or this door. The bottom is just my junk. Can I open it? Um, pull down. Down, yep. So Elizabeth is going to pick out today's giveaway. You may choose anything you wish. Braves double header starts. Oh, did it just? It must have just started. Yes. So we will have that on momentarily. I need a Tiffany Sharpie for autographs. Yes. When we did those posters, um, we autographed uh, the like the ten that we gave away or something like that. I have, I actually have uh, Mike and Anna's autograph on that one there. <laughs> All right, Elizabeth, today. I'm trying to open to see what it is. Oh, she's trying to discover what it is. It doesn't matter. We can just, like, guess and make and, and figure it out. I'm going to do something, but it's kind of stupid. I mean, that's our, my job is mostly stupid, so. Okay, then do this. She says do this. Didn't you add your own autograph? Yes, I've signed it as well. Because I, I, we probably signed them all, and, like, um, so I just took the one that I, I wanted I knew you were going to pick that. <laughs> All right, chat. What Do you even know what this is? Stapler stapler. It's a stapler stapler. We have given away one of these before, but this one I think is actually better. Let me show you. It looks like a little fish or something. This is a Kakuyo stapler stapler. It's pretty cool. This one holds five sheets. I don't know what that means right there. It means something. Um, but that's what this is. This is the handheld staple, stapler stapler. You grab your pages and you go kerthunk, and then it staples them without having a staple. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I love these little things. All right, so we're gonna give this away. <laughs> I, if I would have bet money, this one would have been the one that I thought you would pick out because it looks so wild. That second Lycon totally looks inappropriate. They did better over here trying to explain whatever they're trying to explain, but this top one is it's got a vertical thing going. But yeah, you know, who knows? We'll call it a squid. It's a squid. Any update on your future pin sale? Which one? Oh, my personal pins? Yeah, a uh, couple weeks. Like very soon because I've been spending too much money. I need y'all to buy some of my stuff. <laughs> it sounds so weird, doesn't it? Um, all right, let's give this away. Yeah, um, my desk has all the boxes and all the pins on it. I have a list now where I'm listing the titles. Uh, yeah, exactly, Tony. Um, where I'm listing like the products, working on the pricing, and then I'll have to write descriptions and take pictures. So it's a whole process. Give me two weeks, but like, it's 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 definitely on because it is my desk has like a pile of boxes on it right now. I'll be in school in less than two weeks. You will be in school in less than two weeks. That's crazy, crazy talk, isn't it? Today Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Kakuyo stapler. All right, let's open this giveaway. If you would like to win this Kakuyo paperless stapler, stapler, uh, exclamation point raffle. Now, chat, you may not enter this raffle, right? You may not like, ah, I really don't need the stapler stapler. But what's happening is until you win, once you win a raffle, the chat bot likes you. The raffle bot likes you more, it seems. The raffle bot really picks multiple winners 
outside of first time winners. We have more multiple winners than first time winners. Georgia starts early. That's crazy. We do. We get out early and we start early. Um, we're actually a couple days later this year than we have been in previous years. It's August 2nd. And if we're a couple days early, does that mean we start in July? Yeah, it wasn't last year and the year before July dates, like 29th, 30th? I can never start on my birthday. Okay. So, first week of August, we're always back. So, Galantium, I've won three raffles, bow before me, right? Yeah, last year was delayed. <laughs> so, that's what I'm saying. You have to win the first raffle to really get in the winning flow. I mean, and yeah, who doesn't need a staple of stapler? I won an early raffle, then haven't been graced again. Ooh, temporarily. That's, see, that's an outlier, I feel. Rigged. I, I do have rigged in the list of emotes, Thunder Viking. I do have rigged in the list of emotes. All right, y'all finish that up. I'm going to go look at who we're going to uh, raid today. That was an enjoyable raid uh, yesterday. Go Haku, thank you for the follow. That was an enjoyable raid yesterday we made uh we made their day um but uh knit cake is streaming today we're gonna toss it over to knit cake today when we get ready from the stationary brew crew <clears throat> oh there's toby hey toby Sorry, toby borked at all the mans toby has officially borked at all the mans today he's so cute today he does look cute but that doesn't mean he's not a booty we need a toby Oh, I'm getting a Toby emote. You can bet. See, look, it's going to look like that one. Is it called Toby? It will when I do it. This one's not. This is someone else's dog. But uh, we will get... Um, she cussed a lot when we raided her yesterday. What was her name? Rainbow... Uh, I follow her now. She's offline. She was cool. Danish uh, stationary streamer. Rainbow... I don't know. It's in my follows. So we'll find it later. But that was enjoyable. We're going to go, uh, we'll go surprise uh, Knit Cake here in just a minute. All right, let me pick this giveaway winner. <clears throat> the winner of the Staple of Stapler is Andrew Coon. <laughs> That's exactly who needs a Staple of Stapler. On his, so Andrew was going to be using a Staple of Stapler on A3 sheets of paper. So these will be stapling A3 size, maybe even A2. You have A2? Harlem Misa, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Please send me pick. I want to know how many A3 and A2 size sheets of paper the staple staper, stapler can, uh, can go at the same time. I have seen pictures of Andrew's work in action. It's kind of fascinating. It's kind of fascinating with the huge, huge papers. All right, chat. My stomach is growling. The Braves are playing. I got work to do. We're going to go raid. Uh, we're going to go raid Knit Cake. She's awesome. Looks like she's doing some planning today. We'll fire that up. Thank you all so much. Uh, A3, no wonder he needs those giant nibs. That is factually correct. So um, y'all are awesome as always. Uh, the podcast might be out by now. Um Go listen to it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. A lot of unboxing to do. A lot of embargoes to break. Thank y'all. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.